guys, Marcia here. In today's video, I will show you the painting process of this awesome miniature, the Wayne Dingo. Let's do it! I'm starting to apply Zenital Primer. After the black primer and the whole mini, I apply white primer from above. I focus on one point of view to create a dramatic atmosphere, applying an amount of white in the main area. This way, I can see where the lights and shadows should be to guide my painting. The next step is the base coat. I chose a color for each part, then I applied the first layer the base coat with a dark tone of this color. Sometimes I use two tones, already doing a gradient to create volume. For the skin, I chose blue as the base coat. I'm applying turquoise mixed with black in the darker areas. And for the rest, I use pure Eudra Blue. You can see that I take advantage of the Zenital Primer to apply the darker blue in the darker areas and the pure blue in the lighter areas. I'm using brown mixed with middle stone and black for the base coat of the head and the brown with black for the horn. applying brown mixed with dark green and black as a base coat for the fur. the bones as I did in the head, here in the spine and the skull in the base. Now I will lighten it up. First for the head, I added middle stone to the previous mixture that I used. Every time I apply a new layer with an amount of middle stone to lighten until pure middle stone. To lighten even more, I add pale sand. the same colors to paint the bones and skull. I painted this one and I will do the same in all of them.
to lighten the horns, I added more brown to the previous color I used. To lighten even more, I use Bosch Chestnut, then Bockert Brown and the Resurrection Flash. To finish, I use Resurrection Flash mixed with Pale Sand and Golden Yellow. You can see that I'm painting and making lines to create texture. I'm using Eudre Blue mixed with pale grey to lighten the skin. Lighting even more, adding pale grey. I'm painting a blue gradient in the skin.
base with glue, letting the illuminated area lighter. The back should be darker. After the blue in the base, I'm applying a layer of snow texture for an AK interactive brand. Then I add glue to add the snow dust effect, also from AK Interactive. To paint blood, I use still water mixed with red ink. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one, bye bye!